All right, summertime is all about cooking out and enjoying yummy food. <laughs> but it doesn't always have to be hamburgers and hot dogs. <laughs> That's right. Joining us this morning is Chef Lawrence Cohen from Carmine's Restaurant in Northwest D.C. with some very different summer recipes. Good morning Good to morning you. Good morning to you. Always good, good to see you. Yes, Thank you so and much. There's for nothing back. like that potent garlic <laughs> smell in, in, at 7:30 in the morning. Well, that's how right? I got you guys up here. Well, that's true. You see how we ran over here. So, what do you got cooking up here? So, at Carmine's, we have a lot of great dishes, and mm -hmm. this one just presenting. This is our country style rigatoni. Okay. Uh, oh. This dish in uh, southern Italy was actually known as a peasant dish. Mm -hmm. um, it was had everything for the family. You had your protein. You had your starch. You had your vegetable. And it was a great way to really spend and eat uh, food together as a family like we like to have at Carmine's. Okay. Family style. Yep. Everybody That's sits right. That's what I table. love about Carmine's. Yeah, I love that place. Because you can go there yeah. with a family of four or six, right. order just even a couple of dishes, and everyone walks away full because the portions yeah. are ginormous. And it's huge. huge. And sometimes when, I come down there, sometimes when I come down there, I let my family eat some of those portions. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. It's a wisdom mark for it. <laughs> so basically what we started with, I already started in the pan, we had our um, canola olive oil blend. We mm -hmm. threw some of our garlic in, which you obviously smell when you guys yep. open up. Uh -huh. uh, threw some uh, sliced onions, okay. caramelizing. Uh, we threw in some basil and some parsley. And we're going through, and next we're going to throw is our cannellini beans, okay. which are drain and rinse. Okay. Uh -huh. Those go in. We're just gonna get all that going around. How long? How long do you do this? Uh, we're doing the uh, onion for two to three minutes. Okay. Only just to heat them through. Gotcha. And then we're gonna come through with our chicken stock. All right. Oh. We're gonna put that in. Nice. Chicken stock. That's a nice touch. And then of course, you know, our favorite butter, because you know, butter is fat, and fat is flavor, and carmine. I love, we love fat. All those going yeah. on. Uh huh. And we're just gonna cook that, and we're gonna melt that down, mm -hmm. and we're gonna bring this to a boil. Okay. And once it comes to a boil, then we're gonna incorporate our. Pecorino Romano cheese um, okay. is actually imported from Italy. All right. We'll season with salt and pepper. And then we will finally uh, toss in at the end our prosciutto di parma, which is a cured uh, ham. All right. And then we'll finish with our fresh broccoli and rigatoni parsley. Okay. Rigatoni pasta. That sounds heavenly. Now, um, this is obviously something that people can do from home. If they don't necessarily have certain ingredients, can they substitute or is this pretty much Well, they, they stuff? could substitute, but a lot of these things you can get actually at your local grocery store. Mm -hmm. um, everything is actually in season right now and you can get the Italian uh, the prosciutto actually in the uh, in your uh, local deli as well. Mm -hmm. um, so all these ingredients are um, available all year round mm -hmm. and it allows you to really enjoy great food yeah. with the family yeah. and have a good time, which you guys will actually taste. Oh, sweet. Nice. Well, let's so, get to it because uh, my stomach's over here growling. So, as you can see, we've already, we're coming to a boil. Okay. All right. And then we're going to now add in our pecorino romano cheese. Okay. Gotcha. Toss that in there for you. Now, I always wonder how much, how do you know the amounts that you're, you're a chef, you're a professional, but well, if you're eyeball not. they eyeball it, you know, they always well, Yeah, no, the professionals eyeball it. eyeball it, but if you're a, not a professional like me. Well, you know, we actually do a portion grab test. When you're on the line, we're cooking, you know, we have ladles and scoops. That if it's eight oh, ounces, I got we have you. an eight ounce school to make it consistent because when guests go to Carmine's in New York, we want to make sure that they're getting the same food when they come to gotcha. Carmine's Washington, D.C. Okay, all right. All right. So and then we have so our, good. and if you want to actually help, maybe tell okay. me that pasta right there. I'll throw it in there? Yeah, Here, Annie, I'll let you do that. Okay. Just pour it in there? Put it right in there. Does it matter in the big or In the basket, it'd be perfect. I'll actually help you steer. Okay. All right. Oh, we lost a couple in there. Oh, that's okay. All right. Okay. Perfect. All right. All right. We're going to stir that around. All we're right. Throw, toss in our broccoli. And what's this? This is salt and pepper. We're now going to season with a okay. little salt and pepper. All right. We'll put it in there and stuff. Okay. All right. All right. Toss. We got our pasta. Make okay. sure you drain it. Drain the pasta. Because okay. you don't want to, you don't want to have all that water go and dissipate the flavor of the sauce that we worked so hard to make. Yeah, that's a mistake that right. I often make in the kitchen. And Too much water. Wait, you don't cook. <laughs> you say, what? I'm just kidding. All right. And then Chef we Martin over here. <laughs> and now I toss. But well, we don't want to make a big mess over everybody. Uh -huh. So then we just gently yeah, just. Yeah, I'll stand far <laughs> back from you. <laughs> and then we're just gonna put it right into this bowl right here. Okay. You can see the sauce wow. is thickened. Oh yeah. Now how uh, now how long did that whole process take? Well, the, it, I had already started. Yes. Already cheated a little bit with the onions and garlic. Okay. So from start to finish, you should definitely have it within ten minutes. Okay. Oh. Perfect. Ten minutes. Okay. Will be great for the family. Okay. All right. We have some spoons for you that I brought. We over. got we yeah. got the spoons right, already. So I'm actually gonna put this right over here in front of you. Wisdom, right. you may like to eat, but I really like to eat. I see you. I got the big. <laughs> okay, don't mess with me. <laughs> <laughs> you go ahead All and right. dig in. Let me know. Oh, okay. Can. Let's see here. I want to get a little bit of everything. This yeah, is going to be super too. hot, Chef. Yeah, you got to well, burn hot, out. You know, you always want to eat the food hot. You don't want to. Yeah, but we got to burn, burn out. Hot. Burn out. We won't be able to talk the rest of the newscast. <laughs> oh, I can't. This is too hot. <laughs> burn my tongue. That cheese is so good. It's good. Is it? Let's see. Hold on. Hold on. It's delicious. Mm. <laughs> it is good. Mm. It's, it's good. not that hot. See? 
It it's cooled delicious. down quick. Are we allowed to double nah. dip? Are we family here? We're family here. Okay. Right. <laughs> Our wines were Italian family style That's right. restaurants. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. All right. Gary, hopefully you can join us soon. I mean, mm. we can get you a little closer to Wisdom Martin here and enjoy this food. Stay over there, Gary. <laughs> come over here. Who, who did I make mad that I, I, can't, I can't come over? It's like one studio away and you guys won't even let me come in. Mm. We'll save you some. Yeah, I've heard that before. <laughs> Wisdom Martin. Annie. Annie, Annie, you're a sweetheart. You'll save me. Just a spoonful. That's all I ask. We've got plenty over here for you, Gary. Don't you worry. I mean, hasn't the weather been nice enough lately that I've, I've garnered a little bit of that? You're, you know what? You're right. You're yeah, right. I should, this isn't all about me. Here, here's what's going on right now. 